Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on different types of soil and their characteristics. Understanding soil types can make or break your farming success, let's dive right in. First up, we got sandy soil. This type of soil has large particles, which means it drains water quickly and warms up fast. Perfect for crops like carrots and potatoes. But, it can be a bit low on nutrients, so keep an eye on that. Next, we have clay soil. This one's got small particles and holds onto water really well. It's rich in nutrients, but can get waterlogged easily. Great for crops like broccoli and cabbage. Chalky soil is our third type. This soil is alkaline and stony. It's free-draining, but can be low in nutrients. Crops like spinach and beets do well here, but you might need to add fertilizers to boost growth. Now onto silty soil. This soil has fine particles and holds moisture better than sandy soil. It's fertile and easy to cultivate. Ideal for crops like lettuce and barley. Moving on to peaty soil. This dark, organic, rich soil holds a lot of moisture and is acidic. It's great for crops like cranberries and root vegetables. Just watch out for drainage issues. Loamy soil is a farmer's best friend. It's a balanced mix of sand, silt, and clay, making it nutrient-rich and well-draining. Just about any crop will thrive here. Black soil, also known as Rieger soil, is rich in lime, iron, and magnesia. It retains moisture well and is perfect for cotton and sorghum. Lastly, there's laterite soil. This reddish soil is rich in iron and aluminum. It's found in tropical regions and is good for crops like tea and coffee after proper fertilization. So there you have it. Different soils for different needs. Knowing your soil type is a game changer for your farming journey. Happy farming, y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more farming tips. Until next time, keep those fields green and bountiful.